Okay, guys, it is lilac season, and oh, how lovely is the smell of some lilacs after a good rain in the spring. Let's do some lilac and lemon water. This is super quick, super easy. So this is just one good bunch of lilac, a few freeze-dried lemon slices. This will go in the fridge, and it'll taste so, so good, so refreshing. Now let's do some lilac sugar. I've never done this before. I'll let you guys know how I like it later on when I try it. I'll probably use it in the winter time as kind of like a refreshing, nice taste. Uh, probably in my tea, maybe sprinkled on some sugar cookies, who knows. But I looked this up and you just layer in your sugar and your lilacs and you keep doing that. And then at some point you want to kind of uh, put it out like on a plate, um, I think like a couple hours in to kind of let the moisture come out of it. And then you put it back in the jar. Um, but you can keep that in that jar for like two to three days and you should have some nice fragrant sugar to use. <laughs> sweetie so I don't know if she's done or not oh my goodness look at all those babies that's crazy literally 45 minutes ago she was not pushing out anything she was just hanging out she just jumped in there and pushed out all those babies like it was nothing that is a lot of babies. We are finally getting some sun. So you can see it's very nice out today. I'm just checking on everybody. I just filled everybody's waters. Hi babies. We have the weaning pen going on over here. A rotational grazing pasture with, we just took that little goat kid out from the pasture with his mom this morning actually. And he seems to be handling it very well. And then um, these two girls have been weaning for about five days and they're doing great. Um, they're loving this nice green pasture out here. And we have two fences set up for them to move them back and forth, keep the grass at a good height. So just filled everybody's waters. I just gave the pigs some water like on the ground in the, the low parts of their pens so that they can have uh, places to lay. Pigs don't do well in the heat. Um, they like to have water or mud to um, lay in and bathe in. So everybody down here has a whole bunch of water. Both pig pens have uh, trees for shade, which we did that on purpose. That's really awesome. That's going to keep everybody nice and cool this summer. I have about another comfortable hour of work in the garden before it's going to get miserable. Our garden is very much full sun. As you can see, there's not a lot of shade going on here. The back corner gets some shade. But we actually put our greens bed up by the house where it's shaded probably 70% of the day on purpose because we wouldn't be able to grow greens very long in this full sun down here uh, once we reach May, June. But it's going to reach about 80 today. Um, I know that's not like super hot for anybody watching from the south, but uh, up here some of us get a little cranky above 75. So um, I don't do well in the heat. My body doesn't do well in the heat, so I got to get out here and get stuff done first thing in the morning and then come back out in the evening and get more stuff done but I've got to finish getting some stuff in this garden because we really need to finish getting this garden done and then you guys will get a garden tour later on this week.
let's move a little closer, guys. Not sure if you can actually see me from back there. Mm, let's see. So, hang on. Let me show you what's actually going on here first. So, this is what we're running into. Um, see that? That's not good. And we had a little bit of it on the, the new blueberry bush that we just put into. So I did spray that too. <sighs> I'm just hoping. These are really old, um, neglected trees. So, um, I'm not surprised to see some disease, but I'm really hoping we can get rid of it. So let me actually explain to you guys what's in this um, sprayer bottle. I didn't actually say what was in it. It's just water and vinegar. It was like one gallon of water to like two tablespoons of vinegar. I went a little heavy on the vinegar because the fungi is so bad on these trees. But that's it. That's all that's in it and it's supposed to work. Okay, so for the branches that are closer to me, I have it on cone. But I'm going to go ahead and switch it to stream um, to reach the higher up branches and just try to get them as best I can. This is a really tall tree for an apple tree. Again, they weren't pruned um, diligently, so they just um, they got too big and we're just trying to save them as best we can for as long as we can while we wait for new ones to do their thing. So we're going to go check the other tree and see what they look like. This is the oldest of the three. And it's also the biggest. So it may just be, oh, we got geese coming in. Let's see if I can turn you guys so you can see them. <laughs> oh, oh, they're going to land. Coming in the field to eat. Yep, here's more of them. They're gonna come in and eat. <laughs> All right, so we'll move slow so that we don't scare them off. We want them to like it here and eat and not just because we hunt geese in September <laughs> I mean that's always a plus if they want to come back in September uh, during hunting season but we think that the more wild our property I don't know where the other two went the uh, the more beneficial our property is that's what homesteading is all about surviving and coexisting with nature those are Canadian geese for anybody who doesn't know So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to sneak over here real quiet like because if they see me and I make them nervous, they will leave. They don't like friends. Um, okay, so this tree has a little bit, but not nearly as bad as the other tree. So little tiny spots. So I'm just going to spray this tree and that tree. That tree I don't see any at all. I'm going to spray both of these trees tomorrow night as well to make sure that they stay fungi free because they look good right now. And I really would love to get a good harvest out of these trees. This would be huge for our homestead to be able to harvest apples from three full grown trees. That's a lot of apples. 
What you doing? <laughs> what you doing, Miss Kitty? <laughs> oh, it's so dreary. Dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm out here milking the mama sheep, but it is disgusting out. It has rained for three days straight, and we still have one day to go. And then we're gonna get one day without rain, and then the rain's gonna come back. Not a great time. The garden's only like a quarter of the way planted. It's cold out too. It's like 62 degrees um, high while it's raining for four days. But anyways, I wanted to thank you guys for joining us on this video. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope your weather is better where you are than it is here. And we will talk soon. Happy homesteading.